Hey YouTube, how are you guys doing? I know it's really been a while since I've posted a video and uh, this is actually my first video for 2023 and uh, you know since it's really been a while what I'm gonna do is that I actually want to try to revisit a few builds of mine and uh, recreate a new PC out of some of the old builds that I made so I'm gonna be revisiting two builds um, and the two builds are actually this one the White Shadow, which was built in the Techware uh, Fusion case, and then I'm also gonna look at the uh, the pink PC that I made for my wife. Because actually, I'm gonna combine these two to make a better PC for my wife. And so this is how I built the pink assassin. So the first weapon of choice for this assassin is the Scythe Big Shuriken 3 which is a low profile uh, PC cooler and uh, one of the main reasons why I got it is because I wanted a big fan but a low profile cooler that'll fit into the techware case And then I'm going to try and make a modification a bit on the fan because I want to use this slim fan uh, for something that you'll see later. So what I'm going to do is like I'm just going to put a standard size 120mm fan also from Scythe and this is the Wondersnail 120. This is also a PWM fan and it's still going to work great on the cooler. The great thing about Scythe is that um, in the package there are longer screws so it's actually really you know they are given option to be able to use uh, uh, a thicker fat if you want to All right, so it's all set. Let's put it in the Techware Fusion.
This time I decided to put the hard disk in a different position. Instead of putting it on the AVR cage like the previous build, I decided to attach it to the front part of the Techware Fusion. And as always, you know, when you're building from my wife especially, she needs to have that element of pink every time. So that's why I decided to put the pink fans on top. Uh, these are the G-Storm Slim fans. And to deliver the knockout punch, I'm going to be putting in this GPU, the Asus KO RTX 3060. Oh well, it's not like the super knockout punch, but it's a pretty big punch. So I was a little bit worried at first to see, like I wasn't really sure if the Asus KO will actually fit in the case, but it seems that it will. So I'm gonna try it out. And after a couple of tries guys, voila! I was able to get the GPU in and it's a pretty snug fit but it fits.
So this is what I'm gonna do with the slim fan that originally came with the cooler. Um, I bought another slim fan to match it, same thing from Skype, and uh, I'll be using both slim fans as side exhaust fans. So here it is guys, the pink assassin. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, hopefully I can upload more videos in the, in the few months to come. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.